We are UFO hunting for October 17 of 2024. We are after UFO number three today. Now don't stress, if you don't find it today, if you don't, we can't get on to do it today, number three will spawn in again on the 27th, as will number one and number two. So if you haven't done any of these yet, you can still get one, two, and three on the 27th of October. And I'll pop this map, or this, uh, sorry, this chart up here so you can see. You can see all the numbers of the uh, UFOs that you need to capture on any given day. Bearing in mind that number four, number seven, and number nine will only spawn the once on those particular days. So for number four on the 18th, number seven on the 21st, number nine on the 23rd. The rest of them will spawn on multiple days. And on the 23rd or so, Number eight will spawn, but it's going to be a stealth UFO. So that will, go, that will give you an extra $50,000 if you're able to find that and photograph that one. Okay, so once again, we are here looking for UFO number three. You need to be in a lobby for more than five minutes. It is not quite time yet. It is uh, 900 hours on my phone. So I have one in-game hour to wait, which doesn't take that long. It's only a minute or so. Now it's going to spawn. Let me bring up the map again. So you can see the map here, all the uh, locations of each numbered uh, UFO. And we are after number three, which today is spawning right here on your map, top of Mount Chiliad. So you can see Mount Chiliad in front of me. So I'm just waiting now for the time to go to 10 o'clock. So I will skip ahead for you. It's only going to be seconds for you, and it's going to be, well, not even a minute for me either. So we'll just skip ahead now. So as we're nearing 10 p.m., I have been in here for longer than five minutes, so this should spawn any second now. And I just backed away a little bit from the mountain because I don't want to get too close. Oh, there we are, miles away from it anyway. If you get too close to these, particularly in flying vehicles, yeah, if your vehicle's going to shut down, so if you're in a flying vehicle, you're going to crash land most likely. Okay, so I'll just get a little bit closer. That's close enough for now. We'll take a photo of that. We'll send that to Omega. And now I will just get a little bit closer so I can show you what happens if you do get too close to these. Remember, we're not looking for the abductions yet. There you can go. You can see that my oppressor has shut down. The UFO has disappeared. I've got no power to my oppressor. I'm hitting the accelerator and nothing's happening. I can use the boost to try and get away. But the accelerator is not working. So if you get too close, your vehicle's going to shut down. It's going to disappear. You're not going to be able to get a photo of it. Unless you get the photo of it first, like I did, of course. So, yeah, make sure you're not getting too close to them. And my vehicle's still not... There we go. It's coming back online now. There we go. Okay. So that is where you will find UFO number three. Again, if you can't get it today on the 17th of October, you can find it again on the 27th of October. And again, you don't need to, to, to photograph all of these UFOs in order to be abducted and potentially find that weapon, the, um, what was it called again, the shocker. All you need to do to find that one is get abducted on the, the 31st of October. Get abducted as a, I think it was you can't be a boss yeah, yes, you can't be a CEO or an MC president. So you get abducted and there's a 50% chance you will spawn inside that bunker. You don't need to photograph all of these. Uh, for photographing all of these will unlock the um, hat and the t-shirt that I spoke about in um, the video I did for the first day of these UFOs on. I'll link that down below if you haven't seen that video. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please drop a like. If you want to see more GHA content, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.